We begin with a warning for consumers who may be struggling with debt. There's a company on the radio offering to help you out. Problem is, they can't. The CBC's Yvonne Colbert has tonight's top story. Amy, radio is a big part of many people's drive to work, and many would have heard this ad on their morning commute this week. This is an important announcement to the Canadian public who owe $10,000 or more in credit card debt. The ad urges people to call to see if they're eligible for debt relief. Companies that offer these services are required to be licensed in Nova Scotia under the Collection Agencies Act. Cambridge Life Solutions is not licensed. We contacted the company today. In an email, they say, the advertisement you heard on the air was a mistake. The media buyer forgot that Cambridge is not licensed to do business in Nova Scotia. We have corrected the situation and made it very clear that our ads are to be pulled immediately, effective Monday, July 18th. We would have preferred to pull the ads immediately, but unfortunately the advertisements were paid for in advance and no refunds are issued, so we have to finish out the schedule to Friday. The Nova Scotia government was not aware of this until contacted by CBC News today. We asked if they intend to take action against the company. A spokesperson says the government is not aware the company is operating as a collection agency here. Liberal MLA Kelly Regan says that's not good enough, especially when you're talking about the most vulnerable Nova Scotians. Of course the government should be taking action against any company that isn't licensed and is advertising for business because people are going to think that, that they're, uh, they're licensed and they're okay for, to be open for business and that is not the case here. We sent the radio ad to Service Nova Scotia and this afternoon a spokesperson responded by thanking us for bringing it to their attention and saying they'd be looking into it. Amy? All right, thank you Yvonne. That's the CBC's Yvonne Colbert with our lead tonight.